Welcome to the channel. It wasn't until uh, earlier this year, after having put in many hours in American Truck Simulator and a few hours into Euro Truck Simulator 2, that I decided to start doing the World of Trucks events. And I did have a question about how to uh, actually get the reward in-game and use it. Uh, so I found out the answer to that, and then uh, a month or two ago, uh, I did get a comment questioning about that. So I wanted to create a quick presentation on how to do that. So here is how to participate in the SCS World of Trucks events and get the rewards. Now, uh, this is going to be geared towards people who already have a Steam account and you already have uh, either American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 in your Steam library and installed and now you want to participate in whatever event and get the rewards for them. Uh, so the top four bullets here are the four basics of how to do that. Uh, you need a World of Trucks account, you need to link that to your game profile, you need to actually complete the required deliveries, uh, to earn the reward, and then you need to redeem from World of Trucks onto your Steam account. Uh, optionally, you can check out the reward in your Steam library, but there really isn't anything there you have to do, and then uh, you can optionally use the reward. You're no, under no obligation to have to use it, but uh, I want to show something there. So, uh, creating an account. It's, uh, you know, very simple. Here's the URL that you go to, worldoftrucks.com. You click the Join Now button, or actually the link at the top of the page, uh, if you're seeing the English one, or the equivalent thereof of whatever language you're seeing. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, then when you see that, I just wanted to show you this here. Uh, on the page that comes up, there will be some things, but you want to look at where it says new Steam user registration. I don't cl think this text is clickable, but this black Steam logo is. So click on that. And then when you do that, uh, the page will switch to uh, the steamcommunity.com website where you enter in your Steam username and password. Uh, now when I created this presentation, I did not want to uh, uh, add a junk Steam account or a junk World of Trucks account, so uh, I stopped doing uh, screenshots from here. So at this point you hit the sign in and then you just follow the prompts to create your World of Trucks username password and uh, enter in whatever other information it asks for. Once you've got uh, your World of Trucks account set up. Now you need to link it to your game. So uh, run whichever game that you have. You have to do both uh, individually. Uh, and then when you get into the game, uh, stop at the launch pad. Don't actually start into the game. Uh, you'll see this row of icons. I believe it's the same for both games. Click Edit Profile. And then when you do, this window comes up, and here's where you enter in your account name and password, and this is the World of Trucks account and password uh, that you set up before. Hit the Apply button. Uh, again, I didn't want to add junk accounts, so after that, just follow whatever prompts come up, and your profile uh, from World of Trucks will be linked. Now, the next part is kind of the obvious one. Uh, you do have to actually earn the reward uh, to complete the required delivery. So what do you have to do? How do you find that out? And that's here. Uh, you can go to blog.scssoft.com, find the blog post, read through that to see what all the rules are. Uh, alternatively, when you get into the game, there will probably be be, probably be, but not necessarily be a kind of progress bar at the top. 
uh, that will have a downward pointing triangle that you can click on. Uh, now for this presentation, I've used some screenshots from the uh, my recently completed Happy Halloween event. Uh, but uh, of course, whatever event you're participating in, you know, text and things will be different. But uh, uh, this will tell you what you need to do. So you can click on this downward arrow, and again, it comes up with a uh, window that will show you all of the roles for the event. Okay, like I said, uh, not all of them will have an in-game progress bar up there. Uh, the only one that comes to my mind is the recent uh, ETS2 10-year anniversary. Uh, the rules were so simple, all you had to do was complete a delivery from anywhere to anywhere, and boom, there you go. You got the paint job. Uh, if it's not that simple, I would imagine you're probably almost always going to get a progress bar. Uh, but when you do, uh, you need to make sure you understand all of the rules, because sometimes they can get a bit complicated. Uh, all of the uh, uh, cargos that you transport, uh, I believe, are always going to be in the external market and external cargo uh, areas. You're not going to be doing the normal in-game stuff. It has to be external, so it's going through World of Trucks. And of course, uh, you need to know uh, which game you need to be running. Uh, this should be pretty obvious. Uh, however, with Happy Halloween, uh, that did actually work across both games. So you can make deliveries in either one. Uh, but, you know, the obvious things are, uh, like earlier, there was a Montana event. So obviously that's going to be an ATS. There was a Destination uh, Hanover event. So obviously that's going to be an ETS too. But, uh... Like I said, it could be both, so, you know, understand which game you need to be running in. Uh, understand what your pickup and drop-off cities are going to be. Uh, for example, Destination Hanover. Uh, everything was uh, a delivery to Hanover, and in Montana, everything was a delivery within Montana. Uh, not only the cities, but the cargo. And this is, uh, again, where things can get a little bit complicated. In ETS2 Destination Hanover, there was one delivery that you had to get from a very specific business at a particular city. Just that one business, that one city that had to go to Hanover. So, you know, do look for uh, everything uh, and all of the... Uh, all of the details that are there. Uh, transport length, is, there's usually a minimum length. Uh, seems like for a lot of them too that there's a community versus a personal goal. Uh, and then there's a, re a community reward and a, and a personal reward. Uh, and seems like it's always you don't get the community reward until you finish your personal reward. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been the case that the community never accomplish the community goal but uh every event i've seen it they've always have so anyway uh you know look for that to see what you need to do to participate and help out with the community goal as well as what you need to do with your personal goal and just whatever else i missed on this slide here uh, just make sure you understand all of the requirements uh, again they can get uh, non-trivial, I'll say. I mean, I mean, they're usually not extremely difficult, but uh, they're not necessarily trivial either. And of course, you got to meet the deadline. Now, once you've done that, and uh, you know that you've completed things, because, for example, on that previous screenshot where I showed uh, the downward pointing arrow you see on there there was a 13 out of 13 with a check mark that means I completed all 13 of the deliveries so now I know that I completed the event and now I want to get my rewards for it so what you got to do is go to the World of Trucks website and log in one of the rewards for that event was a World of Trucks achievement so when I logged in I saw this and there you go. Uh, achievement unlocked, and yada yada yada. Click OK. Now you're at the uh, World of Trucks page. 
uh, under my page and events there's going to be a uh, envelope icon with a plus sign telling you that there's new stuff there click on the events and that will show you a page with your list of recent events that you were participating in and these are the four things that were listed under the one event of Happy Halloween. Uh, so the community did reach the community uh, goal. So I did get uh, uh, the community reward, but and it was across both games. So there's a community reward for ATS and a community reward for ATS2, and similar for the personal goals. Now, uh, the top one I have selected and and it's grayed out and noted as red the other three i haven't clicked on yet so the top one is the american truck simulator community reward so when you click on that that happens to be the dangling pumpkin head and uh, this is where i had the question long ago of how to get the rewards i didn't know that you had to come here and redeem it on steam so that's what you got to do. Uh, go through all of that. You get to this point, and there's a button there that says Redeem on Steam, and you click that. That will take you to, uh, like before, the steamcommunity.com website. Log in to your Steam account, and when you hit Sign In, you will receive a message that says that the item has been redeemed. Success and you can find it in your Steam inventory. Also, you might see a pop-up that says you have one new item in your inventory. I think that probably pops up whenever you have the Steam client running. Anyway, so now you have the reward. Uh, you don't actually have to do anything to it in your Steam library, but if you want to check it out, uh, you go to your Steam client, log in, hover over your username, go down to inventory, click on that. We're at the top right of the page. The envelope icon with a green background, one new item in your inventory, click on that. It takes you a page that shows you this. The, the one new thing was an American truck simulator thing, and it was a pumpkin head. It shows you that. Click on the pumpkin head, and then it shows you the information about it. There you go. But there's nothing you need to click on to actually put it into the game. It's already there. And then uh, I call it optional because you don't actually have to use the reward. But uh, when, you, when you do redeem it, and the next time you run the game, you will get a message that says that there are new inventory items. And in this case, uh, again, it was the cabin accessory of a pumpkin head. Click on that. And then let's say you want to use it. So you do like you always do to configure your truck. You go to the repair shop, you press enter, truck service window, you click on the truck configurator, and then you come to this guy. And the cabin accessories are, of course, all the way to the right. And then you see the list here. You can click on what looks to me like a tornado, but it looks like a, I guess it's the content filter button. The only thing I wanted to show here really was what I do, what makes it easier for me is to disable all and then go back up to Steam Inventory Content and click that to turn it back on. And that just shows you your Steam Inventory things. So now you can you have a shorter list of things to look through here and you can see uh, your new thing that you got. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that is how you uh, participate in the events and get the rewards for them. So I hope you found this uh, information helpful and thanks for watching.